You know what's weird is when comics do that, like, a, a girl voice on stage, and it just sounds like the gayest guy of all time. <laughs> yeah. Well, Bill Burr's the only one that does a good girl voice. Yeah, he does. This guy, uh, and Vermeen Nazer does a girl, good girl voice. Like, a, it's flawless. It's really funny. He's like, uh, he does this bit where he's like, um, uh, he's like, uh, he goes, my name is Britlin. It's like Brittany and Caitlin, but better. <laughs> <laughs> but he like can do, he can like change the pitch of his voice. So it just sounds, it doesn't sound like a guy doing a girl voice. Right, 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 right. Uh-huh. right. We'll yeah. take your word for it. Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah. Well, <laughs> neither of you guys know a guy that does a fucking, <laughs> you can't do an impression of another guy doing a fucking thing. So that's my D. I will. Please um, do. What were we talking about? Being gluttonous. You know what I <laughs> started doing when my life is really falling apart is just getting mayonnaise on bagels and like sausage egg. Oh, that's sausage good. egg and little little tomato and some mayo in that's there. That's really delicious. Mayo in a fucking breakfast. I think that's. I don't know, man. That's well, tough. even when you make a bagel sandwich, just when you put the mayo, so there's something that there, happens. Dude. Like even if you're putting turkey oh, and lettuce. Oh fuck. I go mustard. Mustard is my condiment of choice. Mustard. Get the fuck out of here, Mustard's dude. delicious. There's it's no... also non-caloric, oh. and it's good for you. I just <laughs> found out recently aioli <laughs> is just bagging. mayonnaise. Yeah, it's just yeah. mayonnaise with, garlic, with like means. olive oil instead of yep. canola oil, the way they make the mayonnaise, I think. <laughs> How do you know so much about... He you have, you have like uh, access to a secret how it's made that's just <laughs> no, condiments. Dude, I'm into... I fucking... I cooked. I You're had, a good I spent, cook. Yeah. I yeah, fucking, but nobody like cooks their own man. I mean, I, I make my own mayonnaise. My roommate. Ma- well, I make my chef, own mayonnaise, but, bitch. Yeah. Why would you make it's your egg mayonnaise? yolks and fucking oil? It's yeah, easy but then as you got to emulsify it, and it's like kind of yeah. I got tricky. an emulsion blender. Do you really? I really literally yeah, oh have an God. emulsion blender. Yeah, I've only yeah, ever yeah. done it. By I can make hand, soups. I used to make my own salad dressing. Really nice. It's a fucking pain in the ass. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, get an emulsion blender, dude. Come over. Let's use the emulsion. I like how you're making fun of me for buying a saw, and you have. Oh, you have a blender just for mayonnaise. <laughs> it's for soups too, bitch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, why'd you come over and try my mayonnaise blender? You fucking retard, autistic piece of shit. You have to buy a saw to I build fat. things to do something with my life. Yeah, whatever, dude. Yeah, they used to make. I can't wait till you country. fucking fall. I'm You're not sleeping fall. on your fucking. I'm bed. not gonna fall. It's an ugly bed, but it's not gonna fall. I can't wait till it happens. You're out of your fucking mind. You know I just about. don't understand why you didn't make your, <laughs> your bed to the size of a regulation twin size mattress. Because it would take up half the room. A twin? Yeah. A twin is a twin's thirty nine inches. Nick built his own bed. Mattress. Do people why? know this? What's that? That you built your own bed? Did we talk about this last yeah, time? Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. I, but last week I built the desk. Now I built a bed. I built a loft Nick bed. built a loft bed. Now I'm building a dresser. Uh huh. And then I need to build. I mean, the rest is easy. It's shelving, and I'm putting pegboard up. Nice. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. So if you guys, this is like a DIY podcast. Uh, number one tip: you gotta just get a shit ton of tools. <laughs> Real expensive, <laughs> nice tools. You go to Home Depot. You make friends with one of the guys there. Yeah. Everyone who works at Home Depot is a fucking asshole, by the way. Yeah, it's oh, true. Yeah. Every single time I'm there, well, and I no, ask for you know help, what they're like, is? "Well, what are you building?" You know, I, it's like, don't worry about it. This is specifically what I asked for. They're like, well, it depends on what you need it for. No, it doesn't. Just tell me where it is. You, you know what it is, weird. though? I think it's like a male-female thing. I used to live by, like, a, a hardware store, and, like, my girlfriend, my ex-girlfriend went to, like, get something. She's like, they are so nice in yeah. that hardware store. I was like, no, no it's all they are of, so fucking it's mean. It's unemployed contractors with, like, forearm autism hmm. where they know a shit ton about screws and they have no social skills. <laughs> and any anything anything you fucking ask them for at Home Depot, they're gonna try and use it as an opportunity to tell you why you're wrong. I went in there looking for like um, like a like a pocket hole jig, like a like a, a jig to drill holes mm-hmm. that you know mm-hmm. went smaller than like a quarter inch for like smaller than quarter inch drill bits. And the guy was like, "I'll tell you, I've been in hardware for, for uh, 20 years. I'm not saying you're lying, but I've never seen anything." <laughs> Which is you? Yes, yeah. You, then don't say that. Were you a police officer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just ask you if you have something. You just say no. I don't. You also could have just said, "I've never heard of that." Yeah. Why yeah, yeah. even? He's implying that you are lying. Yeah. He's yeah. just like, <laughs> "I'm sorry, you caught me." <laughs> yeah. I like to come in here and ask for things that don't exist. Oh uh, fuck! Did you ever find it, buddy? Uh, Lowe's sells one. Nice. Yeah. So if you're looking for one of those things, guys, you gotta go, go to Lowe's. Gotta go to Lowe's. Unfortunately, I don't live near a Lowe's. 
No Lowe's around here? Uh, no, I guess it is all Home Depot in Home New Depot. York, huh? There's a Home uh, Depot, yeah. like uh, Everywhere. There's Home Depots everywhere. There's just under a mile away. Not everywhere. Here, yeah. There's fucking... There's some in Manhattan. There's two in Manhattan. There's one in Astoria. There's That's two not near everywhere. Astoria. The, there's it was, one in, like, Midtown. There's a Home there's, Depot yeah, in, Midtown. in Midtown. Well, there's Midtown Lumber, which is great, and Prince Lumber in, in Midtown Manhattan. And both of those are, like, you know, far superior if you just need, like, lumber and stuff. Mm-hmm. Midtown is probably the best. Um... They're sponsoring us. I'm pr- I, I really Lumber. want to practice live reads. So Let's we can do get, one. Do you want to contact Midtown Lumber and see if they'll sponsor Comtown? <laughs> do God. we want to? Yeah. Yeah, I will. We got a hot pod going right now with this Fuck hardware yes. talk. Yeah. Well, nothing's going on. I've been watching Can we get Flashlight to spoil, spoil? On HBO. Yeah. Real good. What are, you, what are you talking over me for? What were you saying? I stopped talking. I said, can we get Fleshlight to sponsor us? Probably, actually. They Let's sponsored try. Moon Tower. I got a free Fleshlight. Did I ever tell you that story? No. <laughs> I got a free... Everyone who did Moon Tower a couple of years ago got a free Fleshlight. Yeah, yeah. And then I tried to bring it back on the plane with me. And I thought, like, they probably see these things all the time. So I just put it in my bag and didn't think about it. Uh, completely incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> they they pulled me aside. TSA? They took my bag. TSA. Oh, they took yes. nine agents and they brought the fucking manager over and they pull oh, it out. Oh, that's incredible. And they're like fingering it. I'm like, it was free. I just did this festival. They gave them to everyone. I didn't, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. like, I don't fucking. Oh, you took it on your carry on. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, I only ha- I only ever take a yeah, carry on. Yeah, I don't yeah, ever yeah. check a bag. Yeah, I you know, go like out of town for bucks, a fucking yeah. week. I don't need to. Right. That's for women, I think. If you go on vacation, they're like, you, yeah, know, yeah. you have to bring every piece of clothing I have. Yeah, they bring a hair dryer. On. Like wherever <laughs> you're going, is it going to have a hair dryer? I don't even bring a toothbrush because uh, most hotels they yeah. just have them at the desk. Mm-hmm. They have little shitty ones. Yeah, but then you know if you bring a full size tube of toothpaste, they make you throw it out at the fucking right, airport. Right, right. Unless you keep those travel things. What happened with the flashlight, dude? Oh yeah, so it was horribly embarrassing. <laughs> um, did everyone were they know. just laughing at you when they found out uh, no I mean they were like smirking or whatever I'm sure that made their fucking week yeah of course fuck them I hope they get you didn't did you take it with you well yeah I mean I was like I just like I ran with the it, it was inside out so the vagina part is like flapping around <laughs> while I'm like running to my gate because I was late for my flight and I ended up fucking the thing like one time and uh, it's great yeah but as soon as you come it's like Oh, like the amount of shame. Absolutely. It's almost like you had just Fuck. fucked your sister. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that kind of feeling. <laughs> like that, this incestual feeling. Yeah. When you ejaculate into like a contraption. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just coming in general. The second after you come, no matter what. No, you feel like just bad. beating off like regular. Because I, I always go dry, you know. Of course, I'm there oh, with yeah. you. Dry jack. I don't think I've used lubrication to beat off in like. I'm a dry jackman probably myself. Probably 12 years. And, yeah, I did uh, it a couple times, like, when you're little, because people always say you have to. Yeah. But I'm dry. Yeah, dry. Um, Every time. Yeah, and so I was so ashamed, and I put it in this bag of shoes in my room. <laughs> that I just, like, shoes I wasn't wearing anymore. <laughs> you well, you didn't clean it? They just... No. I mean, there's, oh. no, there's a way to there's clean a it. There's I didn't, a baby. I wasn't going to go dig out. the instructions out of the fucking... Can you just run through water or something? I'm not going to... I live with nine other people. I'm not going to go into the kitchen <laughs> to be like, oh, it's thermos. For, it's for soup. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Just, so I put it in that bag, and then I like went to go help my mom like uh, remove the flooring in her apartment. Mm-hmm. And uh, then I came back, and I was like, I feel like there's something I forgot. And then she like called me like uh, two days later. She's like, Did you leave your fucking pocket pussy here <laughs> in that bag of shoes? That's so fucking. And I was funny. like, Yes. But don't uh, don't touch it. Yeah. <laughs> so your mom has your flashlight? Uh, she threw it out. Oh, oh what, what a, a bitch. bitch! Yeah, dude, it's Fuck. like that that Beastie Boys song. Your mom threw out your best porno mags, except instead of <laughs> porno mags, it's the f- fake vagina that I had sex with one time. <laughs> Only once at huh? age twenty five. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, I mean, this comes just rotting in it for a fucking week. I'm not gonna be like, well, let's see. That's the thing it was about- already a fake vagina, and then it became like a dead vagina. <laughs> That's the interesting thing about fucking sex dolls is like, presumably, like those real dolls, presumably you come inside of those. Yeah. yeah. And that must be a nightmare to clean. How do you get inside? Do you have just like a fucking... There's a vacuum. A vacuum? A they have jizz a, vacuum? Uh, uh, yeah. It, looked, there's like a, it looks like a dildo that attaches the end of a vacuum, 
and then you stick it in the real you, fucking, really yeah, yeah and then you suck all the cum out backwards that sounds tight it sounds like you could just put your dick in that or it sucks your dick yeah you put the dick in your mouth oh that sounds hot yeah and then, and then the then, suction, or your ass the suction makes your mouth close around the dick even harder <laughs> <laughs> that actually would be pretty cool. A vacuum that hooks up to a, a dildo that's got a urethra in it, and you put it in your ass, and then it like it uses your the asshole? suction to make your ass even tighter, and then mm. you fuck yourself. Interesting. <laughs> you fuck yourself Interesting. With the vacuum, and then it hooks that up does, to a bicycle, so you can. That pedal. does sound cool, <laughs> <laughs> Nick. That is that is the word I would use. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, somebody would buy it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? My dad's been like, he's inventing something and he won't tell anyone what it is. He's just got all these like drill presses in like a corner of his apartment and he's like, oh, you know, the fuck out of here. I don't know, inventing something. And he's like very secretive about what it is. What if it was that? That'd be so awesome. Yeah, yeah. Fucking machine? <laughs> yeah, it's a dildo that hooks up to a vacuum so it sucks your ass closed around the dildo. <laughs> So that you, you, that you yourself can feel extra it. hard. You can feel it, but you don't have to worry about spreading your asshole out. <laughs> you don't loosen your ass up. You keep it nice and tight. That is my biggest worry when I fuck myself with a dildo. Yeah. 